Now for a deep dive into the Second World War and the story of a US submarine that was scuttled off the coast of Thailand after being bombed by Japanese forces. The whereabouts of the USS Grenadier were unknown for 77 years. But now, after several months searching the waters south of the island of Phuket, four divers, including Lance Horowitz, believe that they have found the missing vessel. The head of Libya's internationally recognized government in Tripoli, Prime Minister Fayez al-Sarraj, has announced he hopes to step down by the end of next month and hand power to a new executive body to be chosen in talks next month between Libyan factions in Geneva. Authorities in Sudan have detained 41 people and seized large quantities of explosives, including four shipping containers of ammonium nitrate, the chemical that exploded so disastrously last month in the Lebanese capital, Beirut. According to the public prosecutor, it was enough to blow up the capital, Khartoum. Hundreds of refugees and migrants are still on the streets of the Greek island of Lesbos since the fire that destroyed their camp earlier this month. Authorities have been struggling to convince people to move into a new camp while fears grow over a coronavirus outbreak. The fire broke out after quarantine measures were imposed on the old site. No one was killed or hurt.